So here's a picture of the stock seat. You're going to want to take your saws all, and you're going to want to cut this plastic tab flush with the base. You want to cut straight across here to this first ribbed portion of the seat. You want to saws all that flush all the way down, and then it opens up this whole space all the way to the front. Obviously, do both sides. That's the stock version. Here's the modified seat base. Here's the sliders without any other hardware other than the sliders themselves. Even the bar that has the mounting holes for the stock seat base, you're going to use that just to align the holes to drill here, but then it goes away and then you can mount this directly to the seat base. You'll have to drill an access hole right about there on this lower slider bracket so you can get the screw up into the seat base, the factory screw hole. The back one can be mounted with the seat slider all the way forward. You can access that. You can also do um, a third bolt in the front, and I'll show you that in a second. But again, here's the modified seat base. I've sawzalled all the crossed right down here. There's only about two or three tabs all the way down, and this is still rigid as heck. Um, there's no flex in it at all, so taking that plastic out of the base doesn't have any effect on the rigidity of it. I've used it in this is my third one I've done and never had any issues. And again, you can tell we're not using any of the hardware other than the slider itself. All the bolts that come with the slider are used. And it raised it just, just about an inch, not even quite an inch. And I'll show you the two seats side by side. But again, just saws all straight down and then you got your stock base. The tabs are all in place and, and you do go up an inch, but actually it works better for my daughter and uh, myself since I'm only about 5'8". So. So here's a look at the front. You can see a little bit of the overhang, which is cool. It clears the mounting bar no problem. You got plenty of room for the slider adjuster bar. Um, gives you a good view of where the stock seat mounts. You can see the brackets up inside there possibly. Um, again, there's the mounting bolt right there. Underneath you'll have to cut away some of the plastic. There's these two ribbed pieces. You'll have to cut that away. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, and there's the opening from the front. Again, you can tell just the sliders used, not the mounting bar or the lower bracket. Plenty of room for the um, slider adjuster bar. Here's a look from underneath. You can see where the plastic's been cut away. But again, the rigidity stays on the front. There wasn't much there anyways, just these plastic tabs. So the seat brace is still very strong. Um, be careful not to cut down too far like I did. Um, and again, there's the mounting points there and there, and those are holes you have to drill into the base. Um, there's the access hole I drilled for getting the um, screw down into the stock uh, mounting holes on the seat itself. You do have to take that um, Allen screw that comes with the seat braces, and I ground down the head to make it smaller to fit through that hole. Um, and like I said, you could do another mounting hole on the bottom brace if you like for extra strength um, up here if you want to but I've never found the need for it the seats very strong and very rigid so that's the shot of all the plastic cut away given the room for the seat adjuster so there's a picture of the height difference you can tell it's barely much at all but again just by the nature of the beast, it raises about an inch.